know what they say to that though. Magumbo. Magumbo. Shoot ya. <laughs> Every single time he said it, I was like, you were thinking, shoot ya? <laughs> hey, welcome back to our student reaction. It's up, Corbin. I'm um, Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, on Juicy Content. Hey. Uh, you kept every time you thought it was going to say. Well, I, I was like, obviously, I'm pretty sure he's not saying shoot ya, but no. it sounds like Magambo, shoot ya. <laughs> Kushwa. Kushwa. Yeah. Anyways, obviously, if you don't know what we're watching right now, you're, uh... Yeah, you must be living under a rock because this was quite a popular film. Uh, it's... I don't know if it was sweat, oh. love, or... <laughs> like, what is happening? I had something happen under my arm. Um, we watched Mr. India. Mr. India! Mr. India! D uh, directed by... Um, say his name, please. Shikhar Kapoor. Who apparently also directed uh, Bandit Queen, which uh, we've directed the trailer, and it's supposed to be a great, great, great heard, film. Yeah, we had. Really uh, and so I'm looking forward for to getting to that one as well. Um, but it's uh, starring uh, Anil Kapoor. Uh, it's Shradivy, Shradivy, right? Shradivy, Shradivy. Kidly the Ivy too. <laughs> and Amrish Puri, and and a few other people as well. But those are the three. The main the big amigos big amigos of the film yeah um this it came out in 1987 it's gonna be a hundred percent spoiler review it feels so much older than that it does wow. it does it right it really feels it feels 20 years older than that yeah absolutely we'll talk yeah. about that but um once again if you haven't watched it go watch it come back it's like a it's almost its own genre in indian cinema honestly it's like a superhero sci-fi family Big Bollywood. Yeah, it's got that masala. Yeah. Because we now understand what masala is. It's genre switches within but film. hardly Indian cinema has gone... No. Like, sci-fi and, like... This like, is a one-of-a-kind. Yeah, one-of-a-kind film. Anyway, so, 100 cents for the view. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Uh, and, uh, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. <sighs> Hail Magumbo. Uh, Hail Magumbo! <laughs> the moment it started, I thought, okay... I am so into this character. Uh -huh. Please let this movie be about this guy and this thing right here because it looked like a really, it looked like the 1950s Sean Connery, James Bond villains. Yeah, almost, um, uh, my, my wife said, um, um, Flash. Yes, it was very Flash. <laughs> very Flash. Very Flash and very old school Bond. Yes. That's my favorite parts of the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The film, I kind of wish the other aspects of it, particularly like some of the prolonged stuff with him and the kids, yeah. he was he was really good throughout. I never had any problems with him. Anil or, is who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, Anil Kapoor. I, 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 just, I just felt like the length of it yeah. and those moments, if those had been like left on the editing room floor and we had really kept it crisp and yeah. just focused on the whole... The whole of him with his invisibility yeah. and Magumbo, yeah. that I love. Yeah, yeah. That I love. I actually totally agree with you. Uh, it's it's hard to, to harp on it because at that time, through our film in Bollywood, it's just it's, it's just what it was. No, so there's not much they were going to do. But yeah, I definitely agree it could have been crisper. 2.30 yeah. might have been a, a good run Easily time. Easily chopped off a it half It took hour. them almost an hour to get to the... the, the the invisibility part. Yeah, because when they left Magumbo on his island and were learning about him and the kids, and then Sri Devi was introduced, I was like, okay, I was waiting for us to really get into what comes at the end of the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it never really got there. Thankfully, one of the things that kind of revives you and puts a splash of water on your face, because it really did get me kind of going like this. I was like, mm. where's Magumbo, man? I wanted yeah. this movie to be called Mr. Magumbo, not, yeah. you know, Hail Magumbo, not Mr. India. But when they finally got to the invisibility thing and we started to see some of the, I mean, and some of it is so, we'll get into it. Some of it's so ridiculous, it's oh, yeah. hysterical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then some of it's so ridiculous because it's in the segments that are serious. You're like, come on, no. Yeah, so I, I liked a lot. Yeah. It was a very entertaining film. A very entertaining. Uh, and so like, it just. Bob? <laughs> is it McGumbo? Hey, McGumbo. Yeah, totally agree. 
uh, and we'll get into all the elements. I loved Shri Devi was adorable. She was giving me Lucille Ball vibes uh, in terms of the faces. Especially when she was doing the Charlie Chaplin uh, stuff. Charlie Chaplin. She had some moments where she's doing this. She goes yeah. to improv. Uh, I just, yeah. she's that, so gifted. Um, and one of the most sexually explicit, beautiful songs I've ever seen in a yeah, Bollywood wet, film. The wet song with they, the invisibility kissing and oh yeah. pressing on her breasts. They were basically having sex in the video. It was, <laughs> it was, you know what it reminded me of? And I don't know if you've seen this film. So there's two things. First of all, people will think of Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze in Ghost, right? Because there's a oh, sex yeah, scene yeah, in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But there's a film way back in the day called The Entity. Oh, really? I haven't seen that one. Holy crap. Anybody who knows that, just look up Barbara Hershey... The entity sex scene. You won't find it except on like porn all hubs? of these porn hubs. <laughs> yes. Because you gotta watch the movie because in that movie, I remember when I saw it, I was a teenager. It was one of those coming of age moments for me. Phoebe Cates without her top on in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Dolly Parton in Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Uh, uh, Sigourney Weaver in Ghostbusters. And Barbara Hershey in the entity because she gets um she has sex with the with with the entity and there's literally a moment where her bare breasts are being manipulated oh really and you see the finger imprints and the breasts <laughs> going down it is unbelievable Jeez. so yeah. nothing like that well, well but yes that reminded well, me of we'll that we'll get to the song but yeah i liked all that i think the biggest gripe is it's definitely it's too long in parts when in other parts i agree with you i wanted them to get to either Sri Devi and anil or especially Magumbo yeah. and that whole storyline because exactly right when it started, I was like, oh my yes, stars. this is gonna I be, this is going to be epic. The minute he started to talk, I was like, let's just talk, okay, let's, iconic. Let's just talk about him. Let's talk and about the one word party. is iconic. Iconic. Like he's one, like one of the greatest of, characters in movie We history. thought his character in like Indiana Jones is iconic. Man, this, <laughs> I get it. I asked a question on Twitter. I was like, who's the most iconic villain in all of Indian cinema? He was the one that came up more it, than anyone else. It's so funny. And Drani said that her dad, before he, God bless him, passed away when, when she was 15, he would regularly, she said, you don't know how many times my dad, if he was at a restaurant and he took a bite of some food, he'd say, Magumbo. Gumbo. Kushwa. Kushwa. He, that was like the line he'd always go to. It's so iconic. He won. He played it so, for such a ridiculous character. A character that's literally, his only character trait is he's evil. Yeah. And, and so it's so old school in that way, right? It's like... Yes. Because characters nowadays, villains, have such, usually they should be rounded and they have so many complexities right. and stuff like Make that. Make them human. But old school, like in Flash no. Gordon and, right. and, and the Bond, and films. Bond films, their, their only character trait is that they're evil. And they just want everyone to bow. Yes. Yes. Uh, and so the fact that it's so ridiculous, but he played it so magnificently. Amish Pori has such a presence about him. He plays a villain so so well. Yep. Uh, and the fact that it was so set up, like he had this layer, it was almost... It's James Bond layer. Yep. He had acid right in front of him. That, and I, his henchmen were like, yeah, we'll jump in it for you. I loved it. So I like, this is amazing. I loved it. Oh, Absolutely loved it. He played it so, so well. And was, that's why it was so sad. Like, we didn't see him for, I I'd, know. I'd say, almost an, an hour, hour in, in the film. And I'm literally waiting for him in the same way that when I first saw Dark Knight, I'm like, where's Joker? Yeah. Where's Joker? Yeah. <laughs> um, luckily, there's, there's, it's not that it was boring at that time. It's just, I wanted more of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in that way, he's, he, I can see why everybody's raved about him in this film in terms of how just, the, the character is just so iconic. <laughs> and did you, jumping around a little bit, did you get a little uncomfortable again in the music number with all the people in blackface? Because oh, I yeah. did. Yeah. It was really, it's, really hard to sit through. It, you can't really understand unless you're American, because that's a very racist part of our history right uh in terms of blackface and advertising and people dressing up to make fun of black it's it's you can't understand why we feel this way unless you you grew up here you grew up here yeah. and you know why it's so bad to right. see that <laughs> and the other thing that was really it was it was one of those but it's still a great song like okay. oh why it's, yeah it's great you know that you know the moments where there's like videos and they say things on it like if you laugh at this you're gonna go to hell yeah right i felt that a couple times in the movie when they full when grown men with closed fists as hard as they could punch children in yeah. the face. Oh yeah. That was really It looked like they were trying to kill those kids. It was intense in parts. Ser hauling off, punching them closed fist in the face, throwing them around. And we're on that right and now. And they did it to her too. They punched her closed fist in the face. So I wanna 
obviously, the, I was told this was like, obviously this is a nice masala film, entertainer, but I was Which told, it's almost like a kid's film, almost, mm -hmm. in terms of like how Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Chitty Bang Bang. I, I thought totally of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang so many times. One, in the length, and mm -hmm. and in just the extravaganza of it. And their relationship. Yeah, the relationship between her and him. Um, and similar. so I, I got that vibe a lot. Um, but the, the, there was moments where it, it was intense. One, they punched kids and punching women and, and it's just bad people. And then, honestly, one, I was, I don't know if I was happy, but I was surprised that they killed it. Kid. Killed Tina. It was a great sequence, by the way, in the in the the park when they were around. Right. In the suspense that built oh. up to her. Yes. Going to the, the bomb. suspense building it up was great. Yeah. What was ridiculous? <laughs> the fact that she wasn't blown to smithereens. Yes. It's a kids movie. I know. <laughs> She's right there. She touches it. There's this ginormous explosion, and they're rushing her in. She has a couple of abrasions on her cheeks. Even still, though, yes. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's that what was, I expected from the film. And I wasn't necessarily expect. I was like, wow, I, I was surprised they're gonna kill her. I thought she was like, I was like, this is gonna be ridiculous that she lives being that close to a bomb, right? But then she actually, she actually died. died, and I was like, that's quite surprising, very surprising. Uh, and film. so, I th kudos to to even though I I did have issues with you know the length, and I wish it was probably structured differently to bring more of the Magumbo element into it, right? Uh, I. I it was a lot of it. I was thoroughly entertained most of the time. Me too. Yeah, and none it's of just, it. I, I could have cut probably 30 minutes out to make it a little snappier, crisper. The only problem with the film is that, because like I said, Anil Kapoor is really good in everything he's doing. Sri Devi is really good in everything that she did. And what we've already said, this is for me, like, Amrish Puri's performance in this is as even bigger stealing of the show than say Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder, mm. where there's just one character or Heath in Dark Knight. Mm -hmm. But it's different because Heath's turn was like thespianatic mm -hmm. art, yeah. whereas this was just, and very few people could pull off. I would, it's one of those roles where nobody else could yeah. do this. I can't see anybody else. But him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about Anelka Ball. I thought he yeah. did a really good job. One, he was pretty grounded for the, for the most part, and he was incredibly new at the time. Yeah. I read in the Bollywood book, they originally wanted Big B. Big B was not sure about the film for <laughs> multiple, obvious reasons. Yeah, obvious reasons, but also he's like, for not being seen on screen, at, uh, like, enough. Yeah. Because invisibility. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> really? Yes. That's what the Bollywood book said. Wow. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, but they wanted him because he has an iconic voice. And so that, oh, that of thing. course he was big. Um, but I Which, thought, didn't you think it was interesting that whenever Anil Kapoor went invisible, he suddenly had a reverb unit for his voice? Yes. Suddenly his voice had this massive reverb. I thought he brought a softness almost, yeah. which is so unique because this is our, our first classic with Sri Devi and Anil uh, in terms of seeing them in their heydays. Because uh, we only know him basically Slumdog Age and on. And in the Slumdog Age and on, he's typically played very strong men. Yes. Men who have an edge and who have a power <laughs> about them. And I was surprised to see him portray and like the fact that he, he portrayed a very compassionate, um, soft, soft loving, yeah. loving kind of man. He had a very youthfulness about him. Yeah. I thought he did a great job. I thought he had a great chemistry with the kids. Yeah. Thought he had great chemistry with uh, with Sri Devi as well. Yeah. Um, and so I, I really like how that character was written and how, how his performance in it makes me really excited to see more Nil in his in his heyday. Which obviously we need to. We need to see more. Yeah. of Everybody in their heyday. Um, not only Sri Devi. Obviously, we love Sri Devi. This is our first classic Sri Devi film. Uh, and I know this. She has like some that are more thespianatic. Right. Uh, esque. And we know she can do uh, everything. But this shows. Because we've only seen her older. We saw her two last films, English for English and Mom. Right. She plays very different. She's much uh, more matronly mm -hmm. and, and all that. Now she's uh, a younger, extremely sexy, but also extremely quirky. Kind of almost, she reminds me of like a um, Zoe Deschanel. She has That's a lot a of great comparison. A lot of quirkiness. Very quirky. Uh, that, if, if you were casting this film as an American film to be made today, that's exactly who I'd cast. Yeah, Zoe Deschanel. Yep, that's exactly uh, who I'd cast. I thought I she did cast. a great job in all of it, but like the Charlie Chaplin scene? That's just good. It was one, a well shot scene in terms of making it like a Chaplin film kind of in the fast by. forward yeah. ridiculousness. Yeah. But I thought she did a really good impression of uh, what's his name? Uh, the Charlie Chaplin. No, like. Like that character. Oh, the tramp. The tramp. Yeah, you. that's what I was trying to. Yeah, she was. She did a very good impression. It was very clear she had done. She had studied the tramp, and she did some things that were very 
clearly improvisational on her part. And I thought there were some, like most things that you get from these kind of films, like Flash, mm -hmm. you get this mixture of special effects where you go, dang, that was actually really good. Yeah. And some other ones you're like, oh, that's so bad, it's yeah. good. And some of the times when they went in between the, the, the red, yeah. it was actually really, really good. Really, actually for, quite good. For the time, and then the, the yeah, other parts yeah. where they, yeah, oh, that guy's gone string. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clearly. But, 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 like, the one moment where he's had him and he's held him up, you, you can see the harnesses in the jeans holding it up. Yeah. And, you know, the, you know, it's like in Willy Wonka when they're going to the top of yeah. a fizzy lifting drink. Watch me do a spin. Okay, and we'll watch the cables on your side, <laughs> on your clothes. Uh, but but it's, it's, it's fun. It's an endearing fun. Because right. that's what the film is. The film was meant to be a fun entertainer for, for everyone. Even though, even though on the subtitles that we had, they, they, oh. they like, I couldn't tell what curse word they were saying. Because uh, they because they wouldn't give us the curse word. They gave like the star, da, da, da. star, 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 What? <laughs> Guys, give me the curse word. He said it. I want to know what it is. <laughs> Was it Chutia? Magumbo. <laughs> Chutia. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just loved it so much. Uh, but yeah, so I just had a, I had a great time. All the songs, even even though like we're in country in Hawaii for the Black right, Country, it's, it's, it's still a great it's number. A, a fantastic song. The Chaplain was a great song. Um, some of the songs with the kids. I thought all the kids were actually really, really good. The kids weren't bad at all. It's yeah. just the way things were written that prolonged yeah. that yeah. story. Prolonged the, yeah. that part of it. Um, and then obviously the the real, real sexy song uh, with Sri Devi was... Well, I, I was not expecting it. No, what I wasn't expect. I was expecting that, like we like we've said forever, if two people fall in love with each other, rather than have a sex scene, they're going to have a song scene. Yes, and that's going to be the consummation of the relationship. Yes. Here's what I wasn't expecting. I I wasn't doggy style. I yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, and I wasn't expecting to see like the invisibility of him pressing up on yeah. her lips yeah. and on her breasts. Yes. Um. And it's interesting because for me, I was telling this to Indrani, I was like, Sri Devi, and it's she just- She probably watched this when she was a kid. Oh yeah, 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 back when she was little. But for me, Sri Devi is very, I absolutely see her as very, very pretty. If someone said she was very, very sexy to them, I would say, I understand. But she's not, there's not a sex appeal for me with mm. her particularly. Like mm. there's just some actresses, if I, and there's the Cupid doll aspect to her mm -hmm. that looks Disney characterish, that is extremely beautiful. She does convey believable sexuality and sensuality, but it would be very different if there were other actresses that were in that role where I would feel a, a heightened level for me personally. I hope that makes sense. It's just me as my, an audience member letting you know that scene, I could tell it was very sexual, but for me personally, it wasn't getting me like, like Priyanka and, and when she does Ram Leela, mm. There's a sensuality with that that is more drawing to me mm -hmm. than, than that taking also, nothing away from Sri Devi. That was also what twenty five years after this. But even back then, I could find people who were more like th we're talking about like in the nineteen eighties. That's when Ghostbusters came out, and that was Sigourney Weaver. Yeah. Uh, well, that, this is a different country. I know, yeah. and I'm not saying one's good or bad. I'm just saying my particular take on that scene. I wasn't as invested in it as I would have been. No, I liked it. Um, I thought it was good. And I, it's not that uh, I disliked it. I, I, I just wasn't as invested. What did you think about her, the boss? He reminded me of VJ Roz. I was a hundred percent thinking, are they related? Yeah, they one they talk similar. They look look kind of, similar. Look similar. I didn't know. I I couldn't stop thinking about VJ Roz whenever he was on screen. I don't know who is it, Mister Gatunde? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Anu Kapoor. It's Gatunde. So I don't. It looks like he's still, uh, I don't know if he's, he did some recent stuff as recent as at least 2017. I can't imagine that BJ Roz didn't love that role and would love to play that role. Oh, he would play it perfectly. Perfect. I thought it was a, a really fun, interesting character to, to tag along uh, the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, overall. I thought Calendar was an interesting character yeah, to have. Was. It was a nice buddy that you have. Um, I also, it wasn't very believable, but I, I was okay with, her not liking kids, and then when they were hungry, that's what yeah. you know gets her compassion, and that was the chitty chitty bang bang yeah. aspect of it. And again, really the only complaint I have, and it's a big one, was I would have appreciated this a lot more if, if it had not just been dragged out in the slow parts. Mm. And I, I absolutely believe, like, in recommending Indian cinema to people, this would be one where I would say, it, once they've watched quite a few Indian films, I'd say, okay, so now you gotta watch these films. Mm -hmm. Just like Stupid Babies have done with us, they've gotten us into like DDLJ mm -hmm. and fill in the blanks. This is one of those that's like, 
if you want to appreciate Indian cinema, you have to see Mr. India. First yeah. of all, for its originality, Sri Devi, the introduction of Anil Kapoor, and yeah. above <clears throat> all, Amrish Puri. I think most could probably appreciate it as long as you tell them. It's, it's a little slow in parts. It's going to be... I, if, but I if I had known it was going to... If I had known this is going to feel like a long drag, that would have helped me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, let us know what the next... Not only Sri Devi, Anil Kapoor, and Amrish Puri Amrish films. films. Uh, classics, because we want to get to classics of all of them, uh, that we should watch next. And... Magumbo. Chutia. Chutia. <laughs>